You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. Ooh. I'm gonna make Alan a body. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. I doubt it, buddy. You have been, um... You've overstayed your welcome. You were supposed to be inside my PDA this whole time. I have everything I'm gonna need, as well as a bunch of other random stuff that I've got along the way. Everything I need to make these body components, and then I think you have to go up to here and kind the of combine them all together. You to build each component before you can assemble the whole. Ah, yes. I don't know if this will cost anything. If it does, then I might have to go all the way back to base, but let's hope it doesn't. So I guess I'll go from left to right. First, we are making so, Alan, the skeleton. You said your people came here in search of a cure. I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind. My body. Perhaps you should build the next component. Man, I'm getting some bad vibes from Alan recently. He seemed like such a good guy, and now he's just like, Robin, stop asking questions, build me the body. Kind of gives me evil vibes. Are you evil man, Alan? I guess we'll find out. Next up, we've got the architect tissue. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. First up, this looks kind of crazy, but maybe he's gonna tell us more once we build the final component. It seems like, I mean, if if the stuff got out on Alan's watch, Alan's gonna feel bad about it. Also, that's a very flat tissue. <laughs> uh, what's the last one? We've got the this organ. The last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There just seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the tunnel. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Alan, you are so sus, bud. There is 100% some evil thing he's not telling me. This doesn't the cost anything. Is the escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. He looks crazy. Oh, that's Alan. It's literally Alan. Hello, Alan. Are you alive, Alan? What are you doing? Oh, research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Wait, hold on. He has four legs. These legs kind of look like sea treader legs. Maybe. They're probably not, but they look like him. This is his body. This is what they look like. That is crazy. He has four legs. But, um... Can I see that he's a Oh, boy. Oh, God. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Oh my god, what the hell? Whoa. Alan, what are you doing? Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? Alan? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. <sighs> Damn right. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. 
My demands. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Naughty boy. Oh no. Ooh. What the hell? He's super speedy. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But... It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out, infecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I'm thinking... Well, what direction are we facing? We're facing northwestish. If I had to guess where we're around here, maybe more over here, actually. I reckon this is the teleporter that was right here up at the uh, Outpost Zero. God, I can never remember the name of that place. So I guess, I, well, oh, hang on. Oh, I can talk to him. But this is, uh, first off, insane. The fact that Alan looks like this and he's got these robot hands and stuff. He's got a little nubby tail, these horns on his head. He looks so cool. The design of that is amazing. But I guess I'll tell us more when he gets home. He was, he was the reason that the bacteria got out in the first place. And if you guys remember from Subnautica the first game, the end of that game, we hatched those eggs and released the enzyme into the ecosystem. So Alan was right. Alan was behind all of that. So without Alan, we wouldn't have cured the entire world in the first game. Let's see what happens if we talk to him. I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready, but for now I have much to prepare. Is that all you're gonna say? Okay. <laughs> so that's pretty much just telling us what we need to do next. Let's hope my prawn suit hasn't been murdered. I had to leave it all the way up there. So there's really nothing else for me to do but make my way over there. And the Shadow Slayer luckily is safe. I put him in a way safer place than I did last time. So let's make our way up to Outpost Zero and try get Alan back to his home world. We are back at Alpha Zero. And the phase gate facility is just over there, so I think we were right. It is a big old blizzard at the moment. Boy, I can barely even see. I'm not gonna bring the prawn suit all the way in. I'm just gonna leave it outside in this ice cave, and hopefully that is fine. Yes! Right here. I'll just drop him right there. Oh yes, sitting down. Oh. There he is. Hello, Al. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Oh, man, he's so quick. That looks awesome. Can I go in here now? No, the game doesn't want me to jump down there. Awesome, is he still up here? Yes, he's at the, uh... Okay, I don't think with this. He's at the teleporter. Hey, bud. Hello? Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleporter, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. Bye, Alan. He's just gone. All I have to do is walk through that portal. I mean, I don't... I don't think I have any unfinished business. The ingot's completely built, so is the clover. The centipede and the prawn suit and the snow fox, they're all safe. I don't think there's really any reason for me to stay here. And not gonna lie, I am kinda terrified. 
but I think we should just... Island! We're on the home planet. We're on Alan's home planet. Well, there, there really is no turning back. It's still cold. On Alan's home planet. This facility is awesome and very frozen. Hey, bud. Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. Wait, that wasn't the gate? You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the homeworld safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Oh my god. So that teleporter actually only brought us to a different place on the same planet, and now this bad boy is gonna take us home. Will you help me prepare the ship? The energy masks must be moved into place. Sure. Oh! Well... This is different. This is cool. Bye, speedy boy. So I assume these things are the energy masks? Um, I'm confused. Do I do something here? No. Look at my little robot arms. This is so cool. Do I... I don't understand. This one? Ah. Hello. Oh, this is so cool. I wish I was an architect. Humans are boring. Don't drop it! Whoa. Stupid Robin. Okay, I think there's one more. The rest are all in place already. This is so huge! <gasps> oh, I nearly jumped off! I very nearly jumped off. Oh, you jump around and you kind of float like an architect. Let's line this guy up. Jeez, I'm not very good at controlling this. Nearly killed myself. Is that all of them? Yep, it's Very definitely good. all of them. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Wait, this isn't assembled? What? Thank you. There you go. The masts are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. Man, I love the way he just zoom. Do I go down to him, I guess? Oh, hang on. Bring me with you. His arms are gone? Oh my god, he straight up flies. So cool. What? Mini ship? Join me, Robin. How? Oh, flowy thing. Oh my god, this is so cool. Meow. Whoa! Oh, Jesus! Ow! <laughs> oh my I god, I got hit so hard I faced the floor. The was calibrated for heavier bodies. Mm. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Damn right I am, first. Good say that. Ready to leave the past behind. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. Braced? Is there a seat? No. Oh, yeah! <laughs> nice. Launching in three, two, one. Oh. Oh, it's gonna send us through. All right, everybody, say goodbye to some nautical below zero. Let's go. Oh, what is this? Oh my god, what is happening? Oh, we're in space. I thought we were going home. It's Alan's home. What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind. I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls, Dimmy. <gasps> ah! 
That one's a good pilot. We weren't. We got hit by those when we went into, <laughs> into the game. We're going. Oh boy, he saw me. That doesn't seem like a good sign. Wow. Whoa. And if they survived? Oh my god. With you, I am ready to face whatever awaits. Whoa. This is the architect home world. What the hell? It's not. That, that's it. That's the the game. It's done. What the hell? Wow, that was an insane ending. Just a an absolute cliffhanger we're on the architect world and just fyi as i'm recording this just a few days ago the third game for subnautica got confirmed or it got confirmed that they're working on a third game in the series so will that take place on alan's planet and if that's so i assume we'll still be robin but also we'll have to run around with alan all the time or what I'm very confused. Is Alan's planet watery? If it's not watery, then it's not Subnautica. I mean, I'm still gonna play it because it's gonna be fun. So that's it. The series is officially over. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And I mean, if you've watched this series, if you've enjoyed it, then please leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. It would mean the world. This has been, I mean, hands down, this is my favorite series I've ever done. I put probably too much effort into every aspect of this series. The choices in music, most of which was Ben Prunty who made the soundtrack for Below Zero, but there were a few other artists scattered around in there. Uh, the thumbnails, I'm really proud of the thumbnails for this series. Some of them when I initially released them actually weren't that great, but I've gone ahead and remade them since then. So I'm just gonna throw up all the thumbnails on screen now because I'm really proud of them and I want people to see them. And the editing of the series I'm really proud of. You might have noticed well, I hope you've noticed, because if you didn't, then I wasted a hell of a lot of time. You might have noticed that when I was in caves on foot, or in arctic facilities, I added echoes. Uh, that I thought was a really nice detail. I played around with a lot of stuff like that. For example, the way my voice got changed when the... When I was in a spy pingling, that's the one. I really liked the way I did that, and I accomplished pretty much everything there is to do in the game. Uh, I am aware of a couple little things that I missed out on, but that doesn't really bother me. I think we still kind of nailed it. The first episode of this series released on, let me check, the 14th of May 2021. In other words, it's been about a 10 or 11 a month journey by the time this is going out, I think. I'm not 100% sure when this is going up. But yeah, it's been a very long journey. What I'm going to do next, I don't know. You guys might have seen in the comments on the last 10 or so episodes I've linked a poll so you guys can vote on what game I'm gonna play next and I really hope that you guys do vote on that because I don't know what I want to do all the games that are on that list are games that I really do want to play on the channel at some point but whatever we do first is pretty much up to you guys I'm thinking about getting another video up on the channel where I go through what my plans are for each of those games so you guys can have a better decision with that because this has been an amazing journey and I'm really excited to get into whatever we get up to next also just wanted to point out uh obviously I do sort of cheat in this series. Uh, basically I use console commands to do cinematic shots and you know go in from the outside and be able to see my vehicles and stuff like that. Get outside shots of the base for intros whatever and when you cheat in this game you don't get the achievements for it so just a couple days ago I started playing through the game absolutely zero cheats just trying to get through everything as quick as I can so I can get all the achievements because I am weird like that I like to get the achievements. This is my main survival one you can see we've got the sea truck the sea truck modules, we've got the snow fox, the prawn suit, and I assume this stands for Alan. And that took me in the survival world one day and seven hours to complete. And that's what doing it with YouTube gets you because if I was trying to do it as quick as I can like I have here, it took me six hours and 40 minutes using no console commands or anything. And then this creative world is just for a couple of other random things like uh, taking screenshots for thumbnails and stuff like that. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed the series. If you did, please leave a like. If you missed any episodes, go back and watch them because I'm genuinely proud of every single episode in this series. I really hope I see you in whatever journey we go on next. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and say bye to everything that we are leaving behind in Below Zero. Reminisce on some good memories. And I will see you all on that next journey. Bye guys. <laughs>